So we're here. We're going to be doing Life in Balance. Yep. And we're going to talk about a whole bunch of fun stuff. But the, the main th thrust of the show will be about independence from pain through chiropractic, which I can attest to because I've been using chiropractic yes. for 20 years to get rid of pain. Amen, right? <laughs> That's what it's um, about. But before we get into that, you know, we're coming up on October. October is a special month. So it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. It also happens to be National Chiropractic Month, which is sort of cool since we're almost exactly. in October. Right. And you have some, a special announcement that you want we to make do. about that. Uh, you know, Vibrant Life Health Center. And any of this information that we talk about today, if you want to reach out to us, 684-8177, area code 904, of course, is what you can do to get to us. Yeah. Uh, you can catch us on the web and, and then a blog spot as well, which will have the links available for you. Um, but we have a special announcement. We are officially... Uh, Jacksonville's Metatherm Center for Thermography. And what that means is that's going to be the new gold standard uh, for breast screening for, uh, right. for women and their breast health. And it also gives us an opportunity to be very precise, very finite. So we're talking about pain today. Right. And when someone out there has pain, a lot of times they don't understand all the things that are involved in that. Yeah. And with the thermography, we can actually go in and identify specifically the pathology. What is the tissue that's involved? If it's a nerve root, is it a muscle? Right. Right. And so we can really start to cater our care and our protocols Most, most people, that. I don't think, realize that pain is usually diffuse. So yes. It's really hard to pinpoint exactly where it is. I it mean, is. It, you can actually have a pain here, but it's really caused way somewhere else. It is. Yeah. It's amazing. And you know, when you talk about breast health for, for women, um, or men for that matter, uh, when we talk about that, the, the, the tumors and things that we have that people use mammograms for and those types of detection right. devices, it takes eight years for that to develop in the body. And not only that, those, those tests have bad side effects on You know, radiating the body is not a good it's thing. It's not a good thing, you know, and that's why they're actually changing the protocols. Right. They're actually starting to change the standard of care when it comes to mammograms. Before it was 30 and up and everybody right. has it. And uh, at this point, they're changing the game and going to 50. So there's a large group of people now that aren't going to have that monitoring. And this is an option for them to monitor. And, you know, it's talking about the eight years to grow to a tumor, that's when you're going to see them in a mammogram anyway. This can detect within the first year a pathological change in the cell structure. Right. So we're talking much more early detection for something that can be a pretty severe issue and, and, and again I'm a big you know I read a study of like four or five years ago that said you know the people who get cancer usually have lots of um, radiation tests and yes. that they were showing a high very 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 high correlation yes. between any kind of radiation tests x-rays that mm -hmm. kind of stuff and cancer and I'm like Okay, well, I'm not getting any more x-rays. <laughs> exactly. And literally, I stop and I go to the doctor who says, we need an x-ray. Like, well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get an x-ray. Right, and that's and that's really what we got to do. So that gives us an option. We're actually going to do a show on this, so we're really excited to bring it to uh, uh, to the to the you know, audience and let them hear more about this and how exciting this is and a lot of the details about uh, who's reading the information, what kind of reports you get from it, yeah. you know, where you go and what's the next steps after you get thermography, and we'll work on all that and uh, we'll put that in the show and really yeah. give everybody a good view of what that's going to mean. It'll be really exciting. So. Back to pain, you know. Yes. I'm going to be a pain about pain. Um, you know, a lot of people have pain. Pain is like one of the number one things that people take prescription drugs for, mm -hmm. which really sort of sucks because for the most part, prescription drugs don't solve the problem. They mask it. They and the problem it. doesn't go away. No, no. So tell, tell us a little bit about why people get pain, you know, yeah. and... And the different kinds of pain. I mean, there's a bunch of them. You know, you know I talk especially about, for chiropractic. Once yes, you can do I it. talk a lot about that because people come into the office. They'll say, "You oh, know, my neck hurts, my shoulder hurts," and it's really important to understand what type of pain we're talking about here. Because you can have pain from the vascular system. It's more of a pulsating pain, which can indicate some other different things that could be going on. You can have burning pain. Burning pain is usually associated with a nervous system right. issue, and so we have that type of thing. You can have a dull ache or an aching pain. Well, that's usually a muscular issue, right. so we've got to identify those. So there's very specific things that we have to look for when we're looking at what's happening in the body and what's giving you pain. Pain is just a signal. It's like a check right. engine light in the body. It's just trying to tell us, hey, there's something not right, and we've got to do that. And we have to understand at that point, we only feel 12% of our body. Right. Right. So the nerves in our body, only 12% of them feel something. So 88% of your body, you're not feeling anything. Yeah. That's probably a good thing. I don't know if we could be able to handle any more than what we got for 12%. But <laughs> when we take a look at that, we have to really identify why our body's signaling us that there is an issue and what type of issue it is so we can start looking at the system and look at the root cause of that problem right. so we can solve it rather than what we're talking about with the prescription drugs. Yeah, and well, the the, the real crazy thing is a lot of times people wait 
to the last minute. Oh, yes. Guys are really bad about this. I mean, I'm not going to the doctor. No matter what <laughs> goes. But when you got a pain, you really need to address it. The sooner you address it, the yes. faster it'll actually go away. And one of the things I learned a long time ago from chiropractic, they taught me some different exercises. So most people get lower back pain. That's yes. a, probably the most common pain that people get, mm -hmm. especially if you're out in the you know, yard. Working over, at the yard, you know, pavers, doing, do all right, kinds of things. Kinds of, yep. So I learned some stomach exercises that really help. So anytime I get any kind of, even a little twitch, I'm going to go do the stomach exercises. Right. And I try to do them at least two or three times a week because I found prevention exactly. <laughs> is a great way to keep from getting those pains. Well, we always talk about some prevention is worth a pain. I, I remember in the 80s, uh, I bought a health rider, and one of the guys used to say, you know, one of the ways of keeping pain away is doing exercise. It's like an aspirin yeah. that takes... Mm -hmm. 30 to 45 minutes to, to get to work for you. So if you right. exercise on a regular basis, that's another thing that can It can help pain. you a, a, a lot. It can really help you get out of it. But it can also give you pain. It can do that too, <laughs> especially if you're doing it inaccurately and there's some other steps where we're going to have a special tip. Or you're a week weekend warrior and you go out there and you know, oh, give yeah. it all you've got and you're, <laughs> you haven't done anything in a month. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're going to take yourself down for sure. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the history of chiropractic, because the history of chiropractic really sort of digs into where it was started more or less about pain. It did. Actually, you know, that's the amazing thing. You know, it was over until about 112 years ago that uh, chiropractic started. And uh, the kind of the story, it's kind of a neat story. We had an individual, actually it was a pain and a, and, a, and a hearing issue. And the individual that we're talking about kind of complained to the father of chiropractic, as they call and that's D.D. Palmer. And when they went through that, they were talking about, you know, he, he had some hearing loss, he had some discomfort, and uh, well, the, the, the doctor actually palpated him and said, oh, look, this is, this is not right, this is not how this should be, and, and did an adjustment on him, and he could hear right away, and the pain had subsided, wow. and there you go. That's how we, we launched chiropractic, and it, it's launched into, you know, a lot of people misunderstand chiropractic. They think of it as, oh, it's just for back pain, and that's it. Well, it's fantastic for back pain. Right. There's no doubt about that. But it can do a lot of other things in dealing with the aches and pains and the ailments that your body has. Because again, you're not feeling a lot of them. Well, so I mean, I know from my own this. experience, I've used it for elbow pains, shoulder pains, mm -hmm. yeah, ankle pains, uh, absolutely, hip, uh, neck a bunch of times because I've right. problems with my neck. But again, it's not only that. I mean, some I've seen people that they were like they couldn't they, they lost their balance. Yes, and the adjustment made the balance come back. It did like, because really? it's, it's and you know you talk about that. That's proprioception in the body, right. how your body perceives where it is in time and space, and the adjustments can realign that, can get your body to wake that back up. And so a lot of the things that people deal with day to day, if they think of well, I'm just going to man or woman up to take care of that. Yeah. They don't have to. Your body is not working optimum. You need to come in and get checked so that we can identify those things. We got this cool prop here. We do. Very good looking at it. and. Give give the audience a little bit of an idea of how chiropractic works. I mean, I, we don't. I'm sure we don't fully understand everything, but I know we right. got some good ideas of how some of this stuff works. You know, the basic pretense is if you take a look at that spine right there, and I can actually stand up and show. Um, when we look at that, we have a situation where your nervous system goes through this entire spine. The spine houses and protects the central nervous system. That's you see the little the, nerves coming out yes, of the side there. right through here, the red or the yellow ones. When you take a look at that, that is how the body communicates to the brain. That's how the control center works. And so when you take a look at that, that is what we're looking at when we talk about chiropractic because anywhere where the spine is misaligned or has a motion restriction, that's where the body's going to produce something like inflammation or there's going to be a, a narrower, a narrower uh, opening for the nerve structure to come through and then there's pressure on the nerves. That can create disruption in the signal. It goes back and forth to the brain so that what happens when you have that is the communication isn't there. So the brain is no longer properly controlling all the things in the body. Therefore, what we're talking about with yeah. balance issues and things like that. Um, we can also have a pain sensation from that. If you have a pinched nerve or if you have the inflammation of the situation creating a pinch on the nerve, it only takes the weight of a dime to shut a nerve off. So it doesn't take a lot to do this in the body. And it can really affect because it can create some pretty discomfort. Anybody who's well, had sciatica, they'll well, tell I was you. Gonna say, I was just going to say sciatica. You know, it's people <laughs> with the tingling in their thighs and so on. That's, that's it. And that's you know, a pretty common problem. And actually, this model, if you look at the... the, the right over here it has this uh, disc that's out and it'll show you right in here the red disc that I'm pointing to right here that's an example of a disc that's you know that's got some issues it's bulging out it's making contact to the nerve structure an individual with that type of situation is not going to be too comfortable 
You're going to be, I know, because I've had that pain myself. And in my family, sciatica is a pretty common thing. So in your office, I know you do a whole bunch of different kinds of chiropractic. People yes. think that's one thing of one type of chiropractic. Actually, chiropractors have been researching and experimenting and coming up with effective uh, modalities yes. and techniques to help people yes. for 112 years. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. definitely. And that really hasn't stopped. Where a lot of doctors, what they're doing is coming up mainly with new drugs. Right. Which is, I mean, again, I think there's a place for drugs. Yep. Exactly. There are places where, especially in acute stuff, it's really right. really helpful. Uh, and in infectious diseases, it's really helpful. But in the long run, the side effects in those things are the biggest problem. They are. Whereas, and for the most part, there aren't really any side effects from chiropractic there, that I've seen. There, there isn't, really. There's, there's uh, you know, chiropractic is actually the safest form of healthcare in existence today. Yeah. It is absolutely, the, what we do for people is amazing. We get to transform their lives. We get to get them out of a pain cycle. But we also get to remove the chronic issues that could be present, too. Yeah. And so when we take a look at that, like the sciatica that we talk about, and the techniques that we apply there are very critical to the success yeah. of that. You know, we do a, a number. I mean, I have a list, right. uh, quite I, a I list. I got a yeah. nice <laughs> list of them here. But, for example, the Cox technique is one of the ones that you use regularly. So tell them a little about that because you have the, the special table. Yes, well, the special table, we have the Cox table in the office. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to get on that table and be adjusted by it, the yes, Mac that, Daddy is, table, that is a fabulous opportunity to really understand what chiropractic can do for you. But really, the, that technique is a very gentle technique that treats not only the spinal issues, but all the surrounding soft tissue at the same time. It actually increases, if you look at the disc spaces that are in here, yeah. it's a spinal decompression. So we can increase the disc space, increase the area for the nerve structures to pass through. It can reduce the bulging disc by 63%. So, I mean, that disc that I was talking yeah. about right over here, it can actually bring that right back in and it can actually and reduce that. And that's when you, that. like, sort of strap in. And yes, and, and we're going to go through a whole back. process where we're going to actually do some uh, very very light traction, right. and in accordance with my specific uh, locationing of my hands, I can identify specifically where that's going to happen. So we have a focused approach on your traction to make sure that the decompression of the spine, the movement of the soft tissue, yeah. all that is related to specifically addressing the ideal area that you need to be treated. And I can tell you that I've been on lots of tables. I mean, I've been I'm using chiropractic since the 80s, so that light traction that you get in there really makes a big difference. Especially like in, in, for the sciatica and those kinds of things, it really can make a big deal. It really does, because it opens up the space. It brings the, it brings actually what I call it, as I call it, brings some new life to the disc. Yeah. It can actually increase the hydraulic pressure, removes all the toxins yeah. in the disc, actually resets it, because there's no vessels in these discs. Okay. So there's nothing there to clean it out except for this type of a movement yeah. where that cerebral spinal fluid can come back in, rehydrate the disc, clean out the toxins, bring new nourishment to it. It keeps you healthy. You know, it's almost, I always teach people that going through that coxplex of distraction is like brushing your teeth, but it's brushing your spine. Yeah. And again, there are other things that you guys talk about, and I know we're getting close to the middle of the show here, mm -hmm. um, but like uh, Tracy was showing me the wobble thing the other day. The wobble, very, mm -hmm. it's neuromuscular re-education. Mm -hmm. uh, after you get, you know, after you get adjusted, the muscle's gonna have memory and wanna go back to where it was, because it's comfortable there, that's where it's used to be. And so the wobble actually can go through and reprogram the neuromuscular education of the body so that the new corrected positioning from the adjustment stays. Nice. And that's what we wanna do. And at the same time, again, you're removing cerebral spinal fluid back and forth, up and down the spine while you're on the wobble chair, which brings endorphins and the system, which boosts the immune system, which boosts the nervous system function. It boosts the height, height and the level that your body's operating at. How can you not want to do that? Right? I know we're about halfway into the show. Mm -hmm. we'll get right back when we come back from the uh, announcement here that we're going to give you the tip of the, of the week. Yes. And other than that, hold on. <laughs> Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron we can identify specifically how our care is going to be focused on those issues to address 
what you have specifically. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a, a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. So we're back. We're back. And we want to talk about the tip of the week. I mean, so we're talking about pain. Yes. You know, those kinds of things. So what would be a great tip? for our audience out there about pain. You know, I'm gonna really affect, we are coming into a season now where a lot of people are out there, they're gonna start their running. The 5K season's coming, that's what's happening. Okay. I have a patient that came in to me yesterday and he comes in regularly while he's going through his season of running and doing the marathons and 5Ks and things that he does. He does half marathons and full marathons. And one of the things I focused my discussion with him yesterday was the tip of the week this week, and that is stretching. Stretching is critical to people, whether they're athletes or not athletes, to really get your body into a position where you can eliminate pains and aches, which is what we're talking about today, and really get your body fortified to be able to go the distance when you have your, you know, whether you're working an eight-hour day at the office or whether you're running the kids yeah. around. You really want to make sure you're getting up, you're getting stretched before you start your day. But also one of the more critical things is after activity, after stretching, you're doing everything, yeah. stretching. Research is showing that actually it, it cuts 75% of injuries out if you stretch after the activities. That's, and, and actually they're saying that if you stretch before, sometimes it can create injuries. Okay. So the key is after you're doing your activities to stretch out and make sure that the muscles, because when you stretch, let's talk about what happens. Physiologically, blood flow comes into the muscle, it cleans out all the lactic acid that right. would be built up, it cleans out all the, the toxins that have been there from constant right. use, it gives new blood flow, new nourishment, it helps the body to, to sustain a better muscle right. structure, leaner muscle structure. And so those are all very critical things. And there's many ways to do the stretching. You can, you can Google it. We have some great, great ways at the office. We have patients that come in and we train them how to stretch in all types of different ways. Yeah, so if you're an athlete, again, stretching, you should know better. I mean, you should Absolutely. know that you gotta do it. Um, one of the things I discovered, which is along these lines, but is I walk a lot. So I walk about five miles yeah. a day. And I found that I started using athletic hose. So I use knee socks okay. that are designed for runners. Mm -hmm. And I found that it actually reduces the fatigue in my calf tremendously, yeah. and it actually helps with the stretching and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So that's another thing that you can think about. Um, I want to get back to the different kinds of techniques that the yes. chiropractors use to, to uh, help people with uh, back pain and all the other kinds of pains. So there's one called the Thompson Technique, and I'm not sure I'm real familiar with that, but what? Thompson Technique is an adjusting technique that we use, and it's actually, I really enjoy that technique and using it with my patients because it's a gentle way to adjust individuals without having a lot of what I call the muscular reflex of an adjustment. Because when you come in and you adjust somebody, especially somebody in an acute situation that has sciatica or a, a low back problem or muscular issue, and there's certain ways that you can adjust and the muscles just snap right back because they're just not happy. You know, they're not they're not in a situation where yeah. they're gonna they're not ready to receive healing that way. Okay. And so the Thompson technique gives us a chance to really square up the body and it has a very specific application of, of uh, criteria that you go through and you systematically go through the spinal structure of a body and the skeletal structure of a body okay. of an individual. And we check and we make sure and we can identify specifically where we have to adjust. And it's based not only on just positioning and, and visual analysis, but it's functional analysis at all. There's muscle testing involved with it too. So as you're going through the adjustments, you're doing muscle testing, you're evaluating where the sacrum is. So that's where, where you, yes. when you do the adjustment, then you say, move your leg and does it feel better or work? Exactly, kind of thing. Okay. exactly. So and, and, you know, you've been on this situation, so you've had it done, you just know what I it was called, know. right? I was asking. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's what happens. And so when we ask, you know, which one's heavier, how's that moving, how's that, you know, we're evaluating what the structure is doing inside and adjusting according yeah. to what the body is giving us. Very cool. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is the activator technique. Now, I've, I've had this done. You know, I was, I never thought it worked all that well, but for yeah. some people, they swear by it. So. Yes. You know, and, and that's uh, what you said there is a great testament. That's why we do all the different methods and techniques that we have, because one person may have a great result with a technique where another one may not, and they may just have more of an understanding and, and uh, appreciation for a different technique that they really enjoy having done in right. their care. And so we have to make sure that we may maintain that. So knowing all these different techniques right. is critical. Activator is another low volume, it's a tool, it's an instrument that adjusts for us and we can go in and we can identify. Again, that has a criteria, criteria as well. We go through the whole system and it, can, it tells us specifically what is going on in the body and where we specifically need to put an adjustment into the body. Okay. And we can do that with very low amplitude and very gentle adjusting. So, like for example, in my office, many of my uh, senior citizen types of patients 
my elderly patients are patients I utilize this technique on because it's very gentle for them to go through and we can still get great results. And I would imagine you would use it on young children. And I do do that as well, yes. Or if I do TMJ adjusting, I'll always do my TMJ adjusting with the activator. So I utilize that tool as I need to be uh, just more focused, more pinpoint, and, and a little bit more gentle sometimes. Okay. And the TMJ is your jaw, right? Yes, that's so your jaw. Just yep, jaw. exactly. So there's another one. It's just several here that I've never heard of, but I'm sure people have done it to me because you don't normally say, hey, chiropractor, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm on the table. What are you doing? <laughs> what Tell are you? me exactly what technique you're using. It's not, that's right. You don't really grill a chiropractor. <laughs> so what's a, a drives field? Uh, it's actually called diversified. Uh, diversified. Diversified technique. technique. Diversified technique is one of the most basic types of adjusting that we do as a okay. chiropractor. Uh, every every single school out there teaches diversified. That That's like the, the base foundation. Crack crack That's where you're going to go into the side <laughs> postures and we're right. going to go in and do those. Those are the basic techniques that we use. Those are the ones that they use to develop. 112, 118 years ago. Okay. So when you look at that, that's what we're th talking about at that okay. point in time. It's very, it's an osseous type of adjustment, very effective at doing exactly what it was. And again, it has a criteria, it has a specific identifier for where and what the force has to be, okay. what direction it has to go in. So it tells us exactly what we need to do. And this is where a good chiropractor can make a difference if they're doing these, because I could tell you from my own experience that your skill level at doing this is very important. Yes. Because if you're not real skilled at it, you can like, eh. Yes. You leave there and you say, damn, my neck hurt more than it did before I got there. <laughs> yeah, we don't <laughs> want to have that happening. <laughs> and I've, I've had that happen to me, so I'm telling you, yes. and I've never had Dr. John do that to me. <laughs> is this other one, F-A-K-T-R, is that an acronym? Or it's called it? FACTOR, and it's, it's, it's an acronym for basically what it means is it's treating soft tissue adhesions. It's okay. a soft tissue technique. A lot of people will call that Grostin. I was call, that's when yeah, you use the Grostin. That's when I use the Grostin spoon. tools. And so Factor, PNFT, Grostin, it's all kind of self uh, or soft adhesion releases is what it is. So, for example, the way the great way I explain these types of things is when you're in the, like, say, for instance, you're an individual that works on the computer all the time. When you're hunched over the computer, your muscles are getting dehydrated because right. you're working so much. And as that moves back and forth on a fascial layer, it gets dehydrated, it hooks, and then it sits there like that and it hooks and it doesn't move. Yeah. Then pain comes in because you've got inflation, right. inflammation, and you have pain there. Well, what this technique does is it kind of rubs those back out and loosens it up, resets the ability of the muscle to move and glide okay. smoothly. And, and I can tell you that it definitely works because you use that on me on a bunch of different places, on my shoulder. Yes. And when, Right after it's done, I mean, you feel the relief right away. It's pretty amazing. So and it lasts. That's what's yeah, really. It's not. Natural. It's not just like a band aid, like a, right. a pill that wears off right. in six hours. It is amazing how long that lasts. So we got three more. We'll talk about real quick. There's one called neuromuscular reeducation. So we'll talk about that. One. And we talked a little bit about that with the wobble we were talking about. Okay. That's one of the things is the wobble. And that really what I utilize in my office is called the Pettibon system. It's just another technique that we use. And it actually will go through, and we have some traction techniques that we use to restructure and reprogram how the body is understanding what its structure is supposed to be like. So if we want to move, for instance, if you see the spine here, it has all types of curves, and we right. have an anatomic normal that we look for right. in all the structures Especially like in the, the neck, because most people's heads are like real forward. Exactly. You know, forward head posture, right. and you're, you know, you're down here like this. We want to have that beautiful C-curve is what we call it. And so neuromuscular re-education, we take steps in the office to re-educate the body to stay there. And it doesn't, again, it's another great tool that we can do effectively and quickly. And so we can go through the process and get good results. We can go through the neural re-education and get you on a road where we know through the research that if you have your system at those curves and that, at, at, at that what we call anatomic normal, right. your body is running much more effectively yeah. throughout. Right. Immune, digestion, everything starts to improve. Everything everything seems to work better when they got the right curve. That's right. That's what baseball guys <laughs> say anyway. <laughs> um, we got electrostimulation therapy. Now, I've had this done. I mean, I, yes. I found it was really good when I had like acute back pain mm -hmm. uh, or neck pain. But, yes. You know, but the neuromuscular stimulation is pretty cool. So tell us a little bit about where you use that? Neuromuscular re-education. I utilize that when I have muscular issues that I'm dealing Electro with. Electro yeah, stimulation. Electro, uh, I'm sorry, electrostim. Electrostim therapy is when I, I use that when I have you know muscular issues or, or some severe, severe, severe pain. When somebody comes in, I mean, I have patients that crawl in the office, yeah. and I mean they're not they're not doing very well. And I'll utilize this tool because one of the things it can do is it can reduce the sensitivity in the cell structure and knock down the pain structure enough to where we can actually do some work. Yeah. 
Because a lot of times when a patient's in that type of acute pain, yeah, you, can't you can't really do too much with them. So we've got to settle that down. This is a specific tool that we can do that. Again, great because we can put it right where we want it to have an impact. We can aim it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And In my office, I have multiple applications from microcurrent to rush in to east end to inferential pre-mod ultrasound i have all these tools in the office to utilize so we can pinpoint specifically how we're going to attack the cell structure to get it to relax so that ultimately we can treat the issue and not have to have all this t waiting time to get the body to repair i remember itself. i did that I, I was in a car accident and that's one of the things that they did when i came into the office it was pretty cool I've heard some, I, it's not on my list here, but I've seen some chiropractors use some lasers. Yes. And I know you're exp they're trying some stuff. Yes, I'm working with lasers right now. Cold lasers are really an awesome tool. And, uh, you know, doing the research on those, it really does a great job. It, it Like we talked about with the soft tissue, mm -hmm. um, the laser can go in there and it can get the cell structure to actually activate. And it can regenerate cell growth, regenerate cell healing faster. Uh, it's, and it's a very delicate approach, a very delicate way to come into an injury and start to really shut down the pain cycles and get the tissue so that we can work with it. And so I really have enjoyed, I've been trialing a few different uh, different types out there and we've had some great results. So we may even end up doing a show on that one too. That would be cool. So that would be pretty cool. And the last one I had in my list here was active tissue therapy. So Yes. Is that like massage or what is that? That's a great thing. A lot of people when they have, have you ever seen, I'm sure everybody in the audience and you have had a knot somewhere right. where you just got this knot and nothing and you've had a massage, you've done this, it's just not going away. Active, uh, actually it's called active release therapy, ART is what it's called. That's when we go in and we identify specifically where the muscle structure is involved and where that trigger point is and we actually do an active movement where you're doing a specific movement for that muscle what it's designed to do and we're actually treating the muscle while you're doing that and getting that trigger point to release and so it's a it's a co-ed kind of thing where we're working together to get that done but the um, results are just amazing within within minutes the issue is completely re resolved so it's amazing so i know we're, we're getting close to near the end of the show i want to just go back over some of the, the high points of, of the pain issues here. So a lot of people have pain. I mean, it's yes. the, probably the most common complaint that doctors will see. And when they go see their doctor, for the most part, the doctor's gonna say, here's a painkiller. Now, I mean, if it's a natural path, they probably won't do that. Or if right. they're or organic or, uh, alternative MD, they won't do that. Right. Or for sure, a chiropractor won't do that. Right. But when you go to a chiropractor, mm -hmm. the approach is totally different. It is totally different because we are going to identify specifically what is the root cause of that. Where is this pain coming from? What is the source? And what is creating that source? Mm -hmm. So that's really good because like you said, it's diffuse. A lot of times you'll have referred pain and we'll know the pain structure is coming over here, but the cause can be right over here. And so I've got to tie well, that Sciatica is a real good example there. You normally have pains down in your thighs and knees and stuff. But the pain is in your back. Yeah, well, the, yeah the, the issue's up here. <laughs> and so we've got to deal with what's going on up here. And, and somebody could be treating your legs all day long or giving you the, the, the cocktail, as we always right. call it, which is the anti-inflammatory, the muscle yeah. relaxant, and the uh, painkiller. And uh, again, I'm, I'm not again anti-inflammatory. As a matter of fact, part of my own health protocol is to cook with a lot of anti-inflammatory yes, foods. exactly. So if you, you raise... The bar as far as how much inflammation you can take by eating the right anti-inflammatory right. exactly. foods, you have less pain in the period. Exactly. So the other thing is we didn't really talk much about, but losing weight, losing weight is, is a big key. deal for for losing yes. pain. Yes. Okay. I mean, my ankle pain completely went away when I lost thirty pounds. Exactly. You, I know, I can tell you, you have less back pain yes. when you lose thirty pounds. You do. You have less back pain, less shoulder pain, yeah, less you, hip pain. You have less yes. leg pain when you're walking for a long time right. because you weigh less. So I know we got about one minute left. Um, I want to make sure that uh, people go to the website, vibrantlifehealthcenter.com, and check out all the stuff there. If you really want to find out, they have some things going on right now, some uh, specials that they can do. We do. We have tons of specials. So depending on what you're interested in, what your, what your challenges are in health, we have a special that can really apply to you, whether it's going to be in the weight loss category, whether it's going to be in the chiropractic category, our life and balance programs, and even the Metatherm. We're going to have some exciting and, things coming up. And I know that. that you have on, on, I guess it'll start showing on Monday or something like that. On the website, there's mm -hmm. a, one of the sites you have, it talks about a free Titron. And yes. again, if you've never had a Titron scan, that's really sort of a cool thing, because when that scan's done, it shows you what things are really out of whack. It does. And it's not just for pain. No. It can be for like 
getting colds and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah, it's digestive really cool problems. I yeah. mean, I've had some fantastic, I've even had some people come in and it's been able to identify specifically where an issue is with uh, maybe some bladder issues. So, so yes. So I know we, I want to just give you, uh, next week's show is going to be nutrient testing and hormone testing, which is really going to be a cool show. Yes. So until next time, guys. We'll see you. Life in balance. Life in balance. Have a good one.